Don't worry, friends, I am going to catch up. Hello, YouTubers. This is Nibifar. On the 22nd of October 2023, we had CitizenCon in Los Angeles. Everything's being broken down, maybe not in the right order, but this is panel 8, Living on the Edge. Here's what you need to know. This is all about the outposts and places that we can go, and it began with an overview of the needs. The outposts are not only pretty, but they also should satisfy the pathing needed to be a good FPS level. Social areas need to convert quickly for a fight. They choose to add landmarks to each outpost to make it easy to maintain your bearing. And diversity. The panel used all of the buzzwords that you would normally expect. Alleys, covered approaches, every single buzzword they could put in there. They spoke about interacting with the environment, opening or locking doors, turning on and off the lights. All of these can change the map. They can all change the environment. The resource network system is also here with the ability to change the life support, activate security systems and the defense systems. As you go about your business, you can pick up security tokens from the NPCs in the area and that might give you advantage. That will open locked items. Reputation will matter. You may be able to walk in like you belong and you might find yourself in an area that you simply don't feel welcomed. You will still have access to the area, but to get to the gang floor, you're going to need the reputation and there are things there such as missions and objects that are not available elsewhere. There are game implications to the locations. Eddie wanted to tell us about the modules. They are themed heavily to offer a unique flavor for each place. Sandbox One team had worked for the past six months to flesh out all of the upgrades to the outposts. In 2021, they showed us a library of assets and this is greatly expanded and they wanted to do this so that we won't feel like we've been to places before. They wanted that diversity that I spoke about earlier. More types of specialized parts will let the developers build a tailored location that has a purpose. These places all offer unique gameplay potential. The atmosphere and depth achieved in these locations are all top shelf. And I also noticed that whether it was day or night, it had a completely different theme or vibe. It's nutty to think about a normal game with a normal size map and then expand that to the universe. They spoke about smaller outposts. These also have their own theme. They have lootables such as food, drink, and support items. Outlaw locations might work better for combat because it makes sense that they would be worried about the threat. So they're more defensible. They have obstacles. Nick was here to speak about the newest settlements that we might get soon. More locations, more box missions. Locations can be interconnected with tunnels. He spoke about some modifications and improvements to the orbiting stations. They all offer new ways of getting in and out, such as new docking ports, smaller access ports, landing ports. Just like elsewhere, there are locations on the stations that require correct reputation. No rep, no access, and you miss out on what that place may have to offer. I have nothing more to add here. It's all just a super polished demo. Very beautiful. All the videos, I'm just gonna let them run out for you to see. That's it. Channel's currently at 77,000, and that's important because one of the Discord members, Deadlift, donated to Halsey as a giveaway. That's linked up. If we get to 78,000, there's gonna be a second prize of an A1 Spirit Bomber, and that brings the total to 700 as the giveaway. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. If you really want to support, please consider sharing the content. Share the playlist, because it breaks down all of CitizenCon 2023. Fly safe.